Hello, this is Borna from Borna.tv, and today I want to talk about the iPhone, specifically with iPhone version 2.0 or 2.0.1. Um, a lot of times I, I see questions of people uh, just wanting to know what's causing their applications to crash and what's causing the, uh, the, the iPhone to slow down. And uh, one of the things that I, I, I talk about is, you know, the iPhone's uh, lack of memory management or proper manage memory management and uh, one of the tricks that I used in the 2.0 software to get around a lot of the glitches was that I was able to force quit applications now what does that do that will quit applications that are running in the background in order to free up memory that's being used by the iPhone so if if I launch uh, say if I launch mail and then I launch uh, now get out of mail and then I go into Safari and then I get out of Safari and then I go into the iPod app and I get out of that those apps are potentially running right now in the background so when I go and do other things they could be using up memory so in order to alleviate that problem here's a little trick to force quit applications so first I'll go to mail and to do this you just hold down the home button for about five seconds until the application disappears and what that'll do is that this, that's the equivalent of a force quit in OS 10 or you know in task in Windows. I can do the same with the iPod app. Just hold down the button for about five seconds until the program goes away. And finally, uh, what was the other one? I did uh, uh, Safari. So now I have cleared out probably three the three uh, most heaviest programs on, on, the, on the iPhone uh, I think those three are, are, are some of the heaviest <coughs> in terms of memory usage and consumption of resources I mean if there's others like Pandora like say I got Pandora open and, and I want to uh, go ahead and quit that that's another one and there it goes so this is a neat trick and uh, if you find yourself on 2.0 or on a 2.01, excuse me, and you um, and you find that the typing is slow or things are just animations are slow. Why don't you try this trick with those three applications that I mentioned, and I guarantee you'll see some speed up. Now, if that doesn't work, then obviously a reset or a soft reset or a reboot is required, and you can do that by holding the uh, top button until the power off button comes up, and then you can slide the power off and then turn it back on that's uh, that's the equivalent of a soft reboot all right this is Buona from Buona.tv and that is the force quit trick on the iPhone 2.0 software and 2.01 enjoy